hear and consider these words. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Okay, buenos dias, mis amigos. Okay, so this is very powerful, very powerful. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He, and I want you to focus on it, to him that overcomes, to him that overcomes, this is important to understand, it's important to know. How can we overcome? Well, if we go to... a verse somewhere in the Bible there we go I think for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith who is he that overcomes the world but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God we that are born of God have overcome the world in fact we are not even of the world right so understand that to him that overcomes that means to be born of God to him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne that means right now right now we that are born of God we have overcome the world because Jesus has overcome the world just as it says even as I also overcame to him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Now let's go. Revelation 20. And I saw thrones. And they sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them we sit on thrones to him that overcomes We have overcame the world when we are born of the Spirit of God. We overcome the world because He has overcome the world. Alright, so when we are born 
of the Spirit of God, we have overcame, overcome the world. Now, in John chapter 3, Jesus says, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Alright, so in 1 John, for whatsoever is born of God, you see the connection there? That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So we have overcome the world. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Who is John describing here? He's describing us that are born of the Spirit of God. We sit on heavenly thrones and not on earthly thrones. In Revelation 1, it tells us he has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Jesus has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Right? So we are kings and priests unto God. They shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Right now we are kings and priests unto God. Right now we sit on thrones and the judgment has already been given to us. The judgment of eternal life. It's already been made for us. It's already been established in heaven. We are sealed unto the day of redemption. In John 11, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. The judgment has already been made for us. We are saved, sealed, secured, sanctified forever. And the second death has no power over us right now. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. The second death has no power over us that are born of God. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Who is the first resurrection? Hmm. Let me think about this one. Oh, huh. Jesus tells us plainly, 
I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. That's Jesus. We are partakers of his resurrection. We have overcome the world because he overcame the world. Because we are born of God, the second death has no power over us right now. We are a we are kings and priests unto God. We are a royal priesthood. We are a kingdom of priests right now. And we reign with Christ right now. Alright, so hopefully this might help somebody. Alright, to me it's very interesting. I hope it's interesting for you. Go back to Revelation chapter 3. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches.